Good afternoon and welcome to Ashen Ground Road. We're here to look at number 40, which is this lovely old Victorian semi you're looking at here. Just so you know where we are, Ashen Ground Road. Um, if you go to the, the western end of Ashen Ground Road, you're in Ashen Ground Woods. Wonderful place if you want to go for a walk with the dogs. You can cut through to Bolnor Village there. And if I look to my east, top of the road, you're at the junction with uh, Sussex Road and Withelsfield Road. If you turn left there, you're up in the town centre. But if you were walking to the town, you'd actually turn up Haywards Road, which is the next road on the right. Now, we've sprung a water leak here, which is why all these signs are saying road closed, which is not closed, but apparently it's going to be. Um, but come and have a look. So lovely old semi. You're in a beautiful old established part of town. Uh, next door is actually a, uh, uh, I think that's actually three flats in there. Uh, and then they're mainly old Victorian semis. And then some of the older houses in the area were knocked over and turned into these very good looking small blocks of apartments. Um, but come and have a look. You've got a nice driveway. There's a great big garage and a big wide side access. Behind that, there's a workshop. So I'll show you all that in a moment. The owners have been here around 10 years. They've done a lot of work to the property, including the gardens. This front garden's quite a wildlife haven. But you wait until you see the back garden. So classic semi with a bay window, lovely old entrance porch number 40 with Glenwood over the door. So come inside. As I mentioned, the owners have been here 10 years. They've done a lot, lot of things to it. They've been very sympathetic not to uh, lose any of the original character that was here. So you've got a lot of original floorboards, doors, door frames and so on. Um, come and have a look. So entrance hall, that door is into the living room, but you'll see in a minute there's furniture behind there. Under the stairs, We've got the downstairs loo, very cool downstairs loo there, with flamingo wallpaper. And then in the front, here's the main living area. So double aspect room, you've got the door out to the rear garden. And then the bay fronted living room here, with the wood burning stove in the fireplace. So nice room. If you really wanted separate rooms, it wouldn't take a lot to put some either doors on this archway or, you know, block it back up again. You've got, you've got your door back to the hallway as well. And then out the back, got a fab big kitchen breakfast room. They've refitted this a few years ago. There's a built-in dishwasher. Everything else is pretty much freestanding. Got space for a big fridge, big fridge freezer there and a table and chairs. And then they added this little conservatory. Really nice with a vaulted ceiling, so it's got a proper roof on it. So it's more of an all year round room. And then if you notice, they've got these very attractive timber bifolding doors. So if you really wanted to close that off as a separate room, you can, but I don't think the owners ever do. And then come upstairs. Now there's a lot of potential here. Uh, you could, ex the house has, I think the kitchen's been probably extended at some point, um, but you've got lots of potential to extend the house in time if you wanted to. So classical landing. And I'll take you to the back first. So the back bedroom, this is probably the smallest of the bedrooms, which is a double, nice size. And that's overlooking the rear garden. You've got all modern double glazed windows in the house. That's overlooking the rear garden. The garden is absolutely lovely. It's a shame it's such a dull day, but it's gonna be dull all week. So I've had to take the video while, I, while in between rain clouds, should I say. Bathroom, big white bathroom suite with a shower over as well. A decent sized bathroom there. And then the middle bedroom, a bit bigger than the other one. Again, another double overlooking the rear of the property. It's quite nice because the flats are next door. There's only, I think, three flats in there. Their car park is sort of to the side of you. So you haven't really got a neighbour on that side, which is nice. Now, if you were going to go up into the roof space, the obvious option, because it's a hall to hall semi-detached house, the obvious, obvious option is to take the stairs back over the landing up into the roof and thankfully it comes out on that inner wall so you're not splitting the loft in in two so you could either make an enormous master suite or maybe two bedrooms and a bathroom up there if you wanted to and here's the main room so great big double room i've seen a few people have actually sort of split this room to actually give yourself an ensuite bathroom so if you wanted to you could easily get a bathroom along that wall there it's got its own window giving you some natural light and ventilation but a nice generous sized double room here and then looking back over Ashen Ground Road to the front. It's a shame, it's a bit miserable, but you've got actually quite a nice view over those rooftops of the bungalows opposite, right the way through. It looks like it's gonna absolutely built down with rain. So let's go and have a look in the garden. I mentioned uh, everything, everything's within walking distance here. I mean, you've got the town centre literally is just around the corner. Um, 
schools wise you can walk to several primary schools you've got St Wilfrid's the Warden Park Primary Academy and St Joseph's which is the um, uh, Roman Catholic Primary School now children officially on this side of town fall into the catchment area for Oat Hall Community College however uh, sorry they're officially the catchment area is actually Warden Park uh, Secondary Academy over in Cookfield and they get a bus at the end of the road however you can also walk to Oat Hall down in Linfield that's actually closer on foot and of course, Hobarty has got a sixth form college. So coming outside, this terrace, fab big terrace, lots of plants, and we've got a garage. I'll quickly show you that because this is sort of in two sections. So it's a bit, um, it's been some, at some point, it's either been extended, but the front part, still very much, it's nice to see a garage. We don't see those with a classic car in it. This bit is, you could say, is part of the workshop. And then actually, You've got space down the side I mentioned earlier, so big wide access. So if you ever needed to get a dig around here, if you were doing building work, I mean, the obvious option is to really extend the house on this side. One thing I've just noticed, which is quite a bonus, looks to me like that elevation, that is actually taking all the weather on that elevation, looks to me like it's been repointed some years ago, which is a good thing, because these old Victorian houses, 100 odd years old, they, uh, they do need a bit of work. And then you've got a garage, but you've also got a workshop. So you can keep a car. Very handy timber workshop in here, but could be another home office, whatever you want to use it as. And then come out with the garden. Now I've measured the garden off the, the, the shed here to the back as 75 feet. It's about 31 feet wide, but really lovely garden. They're keen conservationists. They've planted lots of beautiful shrubs for all the wildlife. Look at these fantastic plants. And then being a fisherman, I don't think there's actually any fish in here, but I actually love this bit. Look at this, really almost a natural garden pond. That's established beautifully with all the lily pads. And look at this, you've actually got reed mace. So these beautiful old reeds, proper what everyone used to call bulrushes, but that's officially called reed mace. I know that, being a fisherman. And then up the end, you've got the greenhouse, another shed, and the garden is actually a lot wider across the back. So it actually sort of cuts in. It's a slightly funny jiggy jag uh, boundary here, but obviously through there, that fence there is the neighbour. But this area here is all yours. So very much the composting area. And another lovely little oasis to catch the sun at different times of day. Officially, you're actually north facing it here. But when you've got a garden this big, it doesn't really matter which way it's facing. But even on a rotten old day like this, it's quite cheerful up here. But there you go, that is number 40 Ashen Ground Road. Just to recap, it's a Victorian semi-detached house. It's in a great location. You're only one mile from the railway station, crying out for someone to get hold of it and do an extension at some point. But if you don't need a big house, this is just a really nice, spacious three bedroom home with generous room sizes throughout and character. And you've got all the advantages of parking, garages and workshops. I hope that's of interest. If you'd like to have a look, please contact Mansell McTaggart in Hayward Teeth. Thanks for watching.